Okay, I know what you guys are all thinking. Yeah, I did actually sleep till nighttime, and then I had to figure out it was nighttime, and so then I went to daytime. So anyways, hey guys, welcome to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I am the Clean LP Guy, and in this episode, we're actually going to go around town, see what we can find some, for some people with um, gratitude crystals, so that we can get some more gratitude crystals to give to random Beedrix guy who we found in the last episode who actually um, needed our help and needed us to find some random stuff. That guy is there still. I think that's Inspector. Inspector. Why do I keep calling him Inspector? Instructor Harwell, I think it is. Anyways, um, we're going to slash open these bottles. And I think I just killed a... Whatever it's called. I have no idea what it's called. Mantis. But anyways. Um, anyways, yes. So in the last episode... Oh, wait. We're going to want to get some of these butterflies as well. Oops, what the heck. Butterflies like to fly away. Anyways, we got a blessed butterfly. Yes. Um, first instance of this. Um, but you could get these pretty much at any point in time as soon as you get the little um, thingy you've got. I've got here called a bug net. And they like to fly away really, really far. They're like, ha ha, you can't get me. And I'm like, ah, you suck. All right. So, really quickly, since we're here at the bazaar, I'm going to actually try and take us out to the other side. Once I get in here and buy some things that I actually need, um, I need to actually buy one of the shields here. Um, how much is it? It's probably a lot more money than I can actually buy or pay for. I suppose I should warn you, nasty shock, 100 rupees, sweet, I can pay for it. Alright, so we want one of these. Um, this shield is actually very important, especially in this next upcoming area. Um, wooden shields have the one problem that was even seen in, um, wow, you keep moving up and down. One problem that was seen even in, um, Ocarina of Time, and that is if you take it into a fire dungeon, you can actually burn up the shield if you block a fire attack, especially in this one. So I'm going to fix the shield here. Um, these are the shields you can repair right now. I believe I have... Oh, no, I have this one. All right, so it's going to cost me 10 rupees. I'm okay with that. Um, just right right here. All right, so we have um, the availability for more than 300 rupees. So once we go to the Lumpy Pumpkin, we will be able to open up that one... Um, what is it? Chest that I was talking about that you probably don't want to open up quite yet. But now you'll be able to if you've got... My shield has been repaired. It looks good as new. All right, that is important especially for later aspects of this game. I'm going to keep one of the things that I have. Hello, welcome to the Iron Shack. It's so it's you again. You've been coming a lot recently. You're pretty much the only one who comes regularly, actually. Hey, wait a second. I don't suppose. You don't come here just to see me, do you? Uh, yes, it's true. I do, because I have to talk to you in order to get the... Yeah, what, really? Yeah, yeah, right. You think I'm going to fall for that old... Tr what old... T what? But if it were nice, that, that might be the case. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. I still have a job to do. Do you have something? You do? Okay, yes, please. All right. All right, let's see it. All right, so we can actually move this shield over here. And then let's go up. And we're going to move this shield to the top where I like it. We're going to actually swap these two shields just because I feel like it. And we're actually going to sell this one for 20 rupees. Um, not that it really matters which one you sell. They're both the same, but whatever. I actually you probably wouldn't even have to fix the one shield, except that I like to keep the one shield, the same shield. Kind of a, just a nostalgia feel, I guess. Anyways, I don't think we quite have everything to upgrade it yet. Uh, once we get everything to upgrade it, I will upgrade it. Uh, I believe it's this one that we want this way. Um, I can't buy any potions or anything like that yet, but... Oh, I haven't put my shield on yet. Give me one second. I gotta put my shield on. Um, again, by doing that, you just press minus, and I went out the wrong door. Yes, I rock! All right, I was trying to go most efficient way through this section here, but I guess I didn't do that. All right, so what? You are here, okay. Interesting. I thought you were gonna be somewhere else. All right, um, let us look around here for a little bit. Um, what do we have? Well, let's go talk with this, um, with the parents of what's her face, because she should be back by now, right? I mean, come on. We, we talked to her last night, told her her parents were worried. She should be back, right? Is she back? She's back! Hey, look at that. Oh, Chippity! Kakil is safe back at home, and it's because all because of you. I don't know how to express my gratitude. Well, you could give me gratitude, Christmas, but I don't think you'd know about that. I can finally smile and laugh again. Thank you ever so much. How long was she gone? 
Make it sound like she was gone like months or something like that. Yes, my battery is still dead on my mirror book. You got five gratitude crystals. These crystals are filling up gratitude in crystallized form. Okay, let's take a lot of gratitude crystals to process this bunch of five crystals. Helping people feel good. Okay. Alright, so now we've got 15. That is actually a good number of crystals. We can actually see Beedrix at any point in time, uh, like during the day or night, now that we've opened that uh, little section there. Um, one thing I want to see quickly is, is there like a certain amount of days or nights that had to happen before What's-Her-Face ends up getting in trouble? There is a girl that gets in trouble, and I want to help her because, hey, would you look at that? She's not here. That means she's in trouble, and we need to help her. All right, if you know who I'm talking about, she's that one girl who's trying to find that one guy. Hey, look, that guy's up there again. Anyways, um, is that one girl who is trying to, um, hey, would you look at that? He wants to talk. Oh, I wonder where she's gone. She, she's only, like, I was gone for like five seconds, dude. Where did your sister even go in five seconds? Oh, I'm so worried, so worried. What's wrong? Ah, uh, Jippity. <laughs> ah, Jippity. You really want to hear about all my troubles? That's kind of... Not all of them. I just want to hear about this one, please. So you see, a short while ago, my little sister... Yeah, a bl blippin' short while ago. Sister went out for a quick flight, but she hasn't come out... Yeah, a really quick flight. It was getting late for her to still be out. What? So I went looking for her everywhere, but I can't seem to find... What? Dude, okay. I have been in that house for like three seconds. Top... Tops about one whole minute, okay? There is no way you could have looked everywhere for her in one whole minute and that she got stuck out and that it's late. There is no way. I just hope nothing has happened. I'm worried sick about thinking about it. Dude, there is absolutely no way. Hey, Jiffy, would you mind looking, uh, helping me looking for her? Yes. Why did you have to do a back shot? She said she could be curious about that colorful island that appeared recently, so I suspect she's somewhere in the southwestern sky. Wait, if you knew about that, why didn't you fly that direction? I'm counting on you, Jiffy. Oh my gosh. You had to look everywhere. Okay, this guy's up here again. He's... Hey, Jiffy, could you please come home? I heard you were the one who found my girl. Thanks a lot. This missus is grinning from ear to ear. Yes, and he's grinning also. His face is a little bit strange as well, but whatever. He's a nice guy. Anyways, we gotta go find that dude's sister, so we're gonna do that as quickly as possible. I have wasted seven minutes already trying to figure out what the heck is going on in this little world. Um, if you have no idea what's going on, the southwestern direction is actually this way. There is that island way out there somewhere in the big blue sky that we have for Skyloft, and it is actually going to be over in this direction. Um, we can use this thing as a boost. I think I've said that before, but anyways, this will be an even faster speed boost. Um, where she is, is there's actually this little tiny island right here. So if you kind of look over, hey, look, she rendered. Because she is good at rendering. Hey, look at this. There's somebody with a little tab and cloud thing. All right, she, this is the girl that was looking for Kukiri with her, Kukil with us, or whatever. Wow. Well, if it isn't Jippity, I'm so glad you're here. My bird got injured and while I was out for a quick flight. I Now he can't fly. I somehow managed to make a crash landing here, but now we can't get home. I can't go home until my bird's better. I need medicine to get him healthy. It's a he? Hmm, okay. Of course, it can't be human medicine. It has to be bird medicine. Hey, Jippity, I really need your help. Will you go get some bird medicine for me? Of course! Really? No. Thank you. You're a great lifesaver. I'm a lifesaver? My old brother has some bird medicine. Just go and find him. He'll give you what you need. What I need. I better. Uh, I bet he's probably pacing around the plaza in Skyloft waiting for... Okay, so basically, you can. if you find her first, you can actually... Um, speak to her first instead of her brother. I'll be waiting for you here by my bird. Hurry back. All right, basically what she says is she tells you where her brother is. If you've already talked to him, she'll be like, oh, oh, you already talked to him? Okay, well, then you know where he is and blah, 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 blah. I don't know why they didn't, like, make it where she's like, says that beforehand and they totally 86 the one coding. That was totally not necessary at all. But anyways, it's Nintendo logic. Anyway, so we're going to actually, I'm going to actually cut ahead because you guys know where her brother is. He's over by that tower, and that tower is over yeah, uh, in that section of Skyloft that you guys are in. So, cutting ahead. Alright, you can land right in the plaza if you just go right over where this launch pad is. And then you can come talk to her brother, who is, of course, pacing around in the plaza. What, you found my sister? Her bird's injured and can't fly? That's terrible. In that case, take care of this as quick as you can. These are mushroom spores. They will heal the bird's injuries. Okay, and we got, you got some mushroom spores. These spores from a giant mushroom are said to work wonders on injured birds. If she uses this, it should be quick healing to the bird. She should be, then be able to go or make her way home. Take to my sister. 
You can keep the empty bottle once she's had a chance to use the stuff inside. Yes! I'm counting on you, Jippity. I have an empty bottle! A third empty bottle! Already the third empty bottle in the flippin' game. This is amazing and awesome. Alright, so we're gonna come back over here to this launch pad because you have to use a launch pad in order to call your bird. Um, if you don't use a launch pad, it'll do some kind of thing where these night guys come out and they're like, hey, you didn't be able to be able. Yeah, you, you might have seen that on my um, little Take to the Sky video. But anyways, they'll be all like, um, um, mad at you and stuff like that and be like what is wrong with you you should show off Knights Academy a lot better than this what is wrong with you anyways so I don't know why they're so angry or whatever but they are anyways here is the girl again so we can help her out with the mushroom spores oh mushroom spores what a relief you brought the medicine here take it sorry no I'm gonna have it myself thank you no I can heal my bird's injury wow <laughs> what did you just what now my poor bird should be heal healthy again in no time. What? You just like... That is the weirdest thing ever. Wow, that looks like a girl bird because it's got a ponytail. Why the heck would you... I was beginning to think we were doomed. You've saved my life and my birds. We both owe you big thanks. Wait, okay, your brother knew where you were supposed to be. He went looking for you everywhere. Apparently he's blind. Dude, why don't you have glasses, okay? Or goggles. Like, the dude from What's It Called has goggles. The scrap shop, he has goggles. Why don't you have goggles? For crying out loud. Here we go. See you back in town. All right. So, if you wanted to know, you get five gratitude, gratitude, gratitude crystals from her. But at the same time, you can get five gratitude crystals from her brother, which is actually quite intense. Um, this gives you a lot of gratitude crystals in the long run, of course. And gets you five steps close. Five steps. Well, yeah, I guess if you're going to do one gratitude crystal at a time, it's five steps closer to what you need to do. Hey, random Knight Academy dude. Randomly, these guys just like randomly fly everywhere. Why do I keep saying random? These guys just fly around everywhere for some reason I don't know. Like, the Knight's Academy is supposed to like fly everywhere for people. Like, you're not safe unless we're flying everywhere for you, so, you know, we'll be watching you. Even though they're like miles away from the Skyloft place, they can actually see you fall off and they'll save you or whatever. If you can't call your bird, whatever. Anyways, as you can see, this guy's got the dot 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 talk bubble. Hey, Doctor Gim, Jiminy, my sister, uh, my sister made it home safely. Thank goodness. I was so worried about her. Thank you so much for your help, Jiminy. All right, he says a lot less than his sister, but that is awesome because we get five more gratitude crystals, and now we have twenty-five gratitude crystals. All right, we uh, take a lot of two gratitude. Yeah, it says it takes a lot of gratitude to get five gratitude crystals but whatever we really don't care what it says there all right so we have gotten all of that stuff um if you kind of notice i cut well i guess i couldn't really cut away from stuff like that but anyways um we're actually going to come over here and see what's going on with beedrix if we can get anything from him so you know where beedrix is at he's just in this graveyard so i'll cut ahead until we get inside his little home see you guys in just a second all right, we have five gratitude or 25. We have 25 gratitude crystals. That should be enough, right? I mean, come on. He's you he just said looking at him would be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, come on. That, that's got to be it, right? You've gathered quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent. Please take this as a token of the demon's deepest appreciation. What did we get? We got you got the medium wallet, the hefty capacity of this wallet allows you to store up to 500 rupees in it. All right, I'm still going to need more gratitude crystals to become a human. Please, won't you aid a poor, unfortunate demon in need? What? Oh, gracious me, there's a prodigious quantity of gratitude crystals you brought for me. This is such an uh, appallingly insufficient reward for my cheeks burn hot with my cheeks burn hot with embarrassment, but please take this. All right, what do we get? Oh, we got a piece of heart. All right, so we start a new um, heart container. I'm still going to need more gratitude crystals to become a human. What? Please, won't you aid a poor, unfortunate demon? Wow. Okay, apparently he needs more than 25 gratitude crystals, but anyways, he's all like, oh, I need more gratitude crystals because I'm selfish and I can't turn into human unless I have a ton of gratitude crystals. Alright, so, we have 25 and apparently he needs a lot more than 25, but before we can actually get uh, that many gratitude crystals that he needs, we are just going to be trying to just get as many gratitude crystals as possible. Um, there is one more thing of gratitude crystals that we can get. Um... However, I'm not going to get it yet because it takes a lot of tedious going back and forth between uh, day and night, and I really don't want to do that probably just like two or three more times over day and night, um, and I'd rather not do that right now. But anyways, I'm just going to press the one button really quick and show you guys that it's actually, you can carry up to 800, a lot of the larger 
bleh, a rather large wallet that holds up to 800 rupees. So um, the 300 plus the 500 will hold up to 800 rupees, which is really nice. I do not want that. There we go. We're going to head over to the Lumpy Pumpkin really quick. There are actually a couple things that we can get over at the Lumpy Pumpkin. That is going to be really nice. And then we're going to head back to Beetle's Air Shop ship. Uh, get some stuff there. You guys know where the Lumpy Pumpkin is. It's just that island just past the green beacon over there. So I'm actually going to cut ahead because this is a very long distance here. So see you guys in just a second. Okay, now before you actually like land on the Lumpy Pumpkin area, you want to glide over the top of this. Steer your way right. Not there. Oh. Messed it. Oh, no, I didn't. Sweet. All right, so you can apparently climb from both sides. All right. Now, in this chest is going to be something very important. Um, if you notice on my gauge, I got 116 instead of um, whatever it was, like 96 rupees beforehand. All right, that was a 300 rupee. That is awesome because there is a ton of rupees that you get from that. All right, so there are two chests on this island. I totally went the wrong way. I realized there were two chests after I said it. Anyways, there's two chests, there's one chest there, and then there's going to be a chest right here. Awesome sauce. Alright, we're going to be back at, um, well, we're going to be back to the main mission of this game in no time. So we're going to get, um, one more of those pouches before we end this episode. This might be a little bit longer of an episode, but I don't think it'll be too long just because I'm going to be cutting quite a bit. Um, especially something we're going to be cutting here soon because we're actually going to, we have an empty bottle, so I'm going to be helping... Um, this guy's actually named Pum, but I think he looks like Luigi, so I'm gonna be using a Luigi accent. Oh, I see you brought an empty bottle, like, you, uh, you are, uh, wow, like you, uh, wait, with you, like I asked, great. All right then, here's the hot pump, uh, pumpkin soup, uh, deliver that to the night, co uh, wow, the night commander. You got some hot pumpkin soup, this homemade soup is Pum's specialty, but watch it, it gets cold in five minutes, and I think he's gonna say that. Listen up, kid, the king, knight commander hates cold soup, so you're going to take this hot soup over to him. I'd say you've got to deliver it in less than five minutes or the soup will get cold. Alright, so, you wanna hurry the heck over there. Um, his daughter, who's the little girl who waits everybody at the tables and whatnot, she is actually named Kina, if you wanted to know. And she... Um, is actually really nice because, um, well, uh, she's nice, but she's like, at the same time, she's kind of like not really fond of Link for some reason. I think it's just probably because her dad's prejudice against Link, and so she's like, I feel like I'm prejudiced against Link. Anyways, um, the Lumpy Pumpkin is like the only place where you can jump off pretty much anywhere, and you can fly from it. But anyways, I'm going to cut ahead. I will see you guys at Sky. Okay, if you guys wanted to know, it was five minutes of real time. So if it takes you five minutes to get to Skyloft, either you don't exactly know your way around to Skyloft yet or what. But anyways, um, that's Fledge, if you guys wanted to know. It looks like there should be a rupee up there, but I guess not. That's kind of weird. Anyways, we're going to run in here because he wanted us to go to Agnes. I, or Agus, I think his name is. I think it's Agus. Something like that. Anyways... Agus is important because if you do this quest before, hey, Jeopardy, have you been working hard in the swordsmanship? Mm, I smell something. I know that early, uh, that earthly aroma. Isn't that my favorite pumpkin soup? I asked the owner of the Lumpy Pumpkin to bring me some, but you went out of your way to deliver me some, me some. That's right. Yes, give it to me. Here you go. All right. So I believe if you give this guy the soup, um, I don't want to say this too early, but. Dude, the thing is like jello in there. So good. Mm, this is the stuff. Pumpkin soup is best piping hot. Dude, you just swallowed that down your throat, piping hot. Well done. Say thanks to the owner for me. All right. Um, I guess he doesn't give you gratitude crystals. I thought he gave you gratitude crystal, but I guess not. But anyways. Um, yeah. So that was the end of that side quest. Um, I don't believe there's anything else that he wants us to do. The lumpy pumpkin guy. Um, I don't believe... Eh, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. The the um, beetle that we have right now, I don't think allows us to get uh, heart pieces. So I don't think the one, the chandelier heart piece will be able to get... Who's that? Oh, it was one of those bird guys. Anyways, I don't think we'd be able to get the uh, chandelier heart piece with the beetle. I didn't really want to try it because I always like to do the beetle stuff because it just earns beetle stuff. The ha... Wow, jeez, I cannot say anything. What is it? The Lumpy Pumpkin Quests. I like to do the Lumpy Pumpkin Quests just because it gives you so much stuff, and it gives you some very good stuff later. Anyways, we are actually here right now. Where is Beetle's Air Shop? Hello, lady. Where is Beetle's Air Shop? Beetle? Is he right above me? No. Uh, where is his Air Shop? Is it way over there? Really? Um, we're going to buy that pouch really quick. 
Um, there are some windmills all around here. There it is. That is not what I wanted. I want the beetle. Whoa. Let's intersect. Intercept. 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 There we go. We're going to have to run a little ways to get to that thing. Oh, gosh. No. I hope it doesn't go back up. Oh, my gosh. Grab. No. Grab. Grab. There we go. All right. As, like I said before, don't let go, and you can't press up to get up to it, so it's not... You're not going to get that much faster. Anyways. Now we're up. Let's go, and let's get in there. All right. So, after we do this, we're actually going to go to... Um, Lumpy Pumpkin one more time and see if there's anything he wants us to do. I don't believe there is, but we're going to just make sure. Alright, that increases the number of items you can carry in your pouch by one. Most useful, 300 rupees. I will take it. Alright, so, adventure pouch. And we should have 100 rupees more. Um, so, I'll see if I can get that other wallet, but I don't know if I can. Um, I think it probably raised in price to like 200 or something like that. Anyways, uh, I tried to say this earlier, but... Um, uh, let me see. Hold on a second. I'm trying to read. Okay, what is it? Come on, tell me. 100 rupees. I can get this. I'm gonna get this. All right. So, um, I tried to say this earlier, but the um, the reason I had 116 rupees was because I hit one of those birds that was flying um around with the 20 rupees hanging off of his tail feathers or whatever, and I got 20 rupees from him. So, uh. That was during the cut, the first cut, that uh, I on my way to the Wumpy Pumpkin. The Wumpy. Wow, I cannot speak today. My first cut away when I was on my way to the Lumpy Pumpkin, I got that from one of those birds flying around. So, they're not exactly easy to get, but whatever. All right, we are on our way back to the Lumpy Pumpkin quickly. We're going to see what we got here from uh, Pum, if he wants us to do something else, or if it, that's the last thing. Um, if it is, I will just probably... Uh, cut well i'm gonna cut to the lumpy pumpkin and we're just gonna see what he says so see you guys in just a second okay i honestly don't believe there's anything he's gonna want us to do this time because there's something that he's gonna ask us to do later and i think it's gonna be after the elden volcano um if you guys wanted to know how the heck i knew that what's his face uh beedrix was where he was because if you talk with this guy when you're doing the beedrix quest he will tell you but anyways um, ah, so you've delivered the soup to Agus. I'll subtract your pay from the bill for the chandelier. But you're not done yet. I'm ready. I'm already scheming about what you need to do next. I'm gonna need some time to think about this, though. So come back and see me later. All right. So we will do that. Um, right now, I'm gonna actually cut ahead. I know there's a whole lot of cutting in this episode, but I'm gonna cut ahead and I'm gonna meet you guys back at Skyloft. Um, and we're going to see what else we can do there just before we want to head off to, um, what is it called? Jeez, Elden. So, see you guys in just a moment. Alright, so we are back at Skyloft, and I actually just remembered that there's absolutely nothing that I needed to do here. But it is a nice lead way into where we need to go, which is Elden, which is way over there if you can see that giant beam and you can see that Zelda is actually going to be right down there somewhere so we are actually gonna head on to Elden in the next episode we are actually I think fully prepared if I'm not mistaken um, there is well there's a few things we could upgrade but I'm not really concerned about upgrading them right now um, we've got the sailcloth there I never pointed that out before but anyways um, we have our sword that's as far as we can get it the thing there as far as we can get it um, we've got a few things here that we could probably upgrade our sword, but I'm not too concerned about it right now. We've got a few bugs and stuff like that, but I'm really not all that concerned right now. Um, I feel like there was something that I wanted to put in my pouch, but I can't even think of what that is right now. Um, I will get a fairy probably sometime when I do, um, oh, what is it called? When I get into Elden. So, oh, I guess I'm just gonna do that when I come out here. So I'm just going to I'm just gonna put it on the eye so we can just look around and we don't have any uh, crazy beeping. Anyway, so, next time on the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, we're actually going to be going to Elden. And we might even get that 20 rupees that we missed, because I might, if I remember, we might just get that 20 rupees because it's there and uh, stuff like that. So, anyway, you know what? Let's just get it right now. I'll just end it there at the little rupee thingy, and we'll just, we'll just get the rupees. What the heck? I'll show you guys where the rupees are. What the hey? We can get it right now. There we go. Let's just go across here. And then there's this little down spot here instead of the up spot where you'd want to go normally. And then, boom, 20 rupees right here. 
in the chest. All right, so that is actually going to conclude it for this episode. Sorry, it was a whole bunch of running around and doing a whole bunch of random stuff. But that is all that we really had to do in this episode. So I will see you guys in the next episode. We're continuing on to Elden Volcano and seeing what is there. Oh, jeez, I just kind of spoiled what that was. But wait, wait. Is there something back here? Bom, bom, bom. Nope, nothing back there. All right, never mind. <laughs> I was like... Maybe there's something back there. But anyways, it um, doesn't look like there's anything back there. Just climb up this. Anyways, so that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode. So see you guys then.